Is that nice? Hiya. Um, I wasn't planning on filming today. Hmm. You have to excuse my face. I wasn't planning on filming today. Um, because I'm not feeling great mentally. I'm, I've had, I haven't had like a bad week, but uh, my depression is very prominent. Um, when I'm struggling with it, it's very prominent and it's um, just hard to focus on anything other than just keeping going at the moment. You finished all your crispies, darling? They're all gone. Um, but I literally just wanted to come on and talk about something quickly. Um, or not quickly, I don't know. Uh, it's something that was spoken to my therapist about, um, kind of. Um, and it's like trauma, basically, trauma. And when you have depression, and part of the thing that makes you feel, not feel bad, um, you want me to open it for you? Um, when the thing, not the thing that makes you depressed, but the thing that really makes your depression hard is the trauma. And it's like, that's normal. Like if you've been through trauma or been through something traumatic or multiple traumatic things, um, surely it's normal to be depressed about that. Like to be hurt by that, to have grief for that, to have pain. Um, thank you, darling. Um, and, you know, I think that's partly why I sometimes struggle with antidepressants because not that I want to feel the pain, but like if I've got a genuine reason that I'm depressed or if something is really hurting me and it's, you know, making my depression unmanageable, I don't want to be okay with it. I know that antidepressants don't work like that, but that's what my head, is. that's what it's like in my head anyway. Recently, kind of, there's like multiple things that, so, so I've lost what I was saying. Um, so when there's like multiple things that you view as trauma, kind of distressing you and causing you pain, you know, it's normal to feel the pain. It's normal to feel that um, depressed and, you know, to be struggling with it. I, I'd say it's not even just normal, it's healthy because, you know, this is a really kind of just basic example, but say you're assaulted and that is a traumatic incident. Um, <clears throat> I should point out that not every trauma is a physical thing or is something that you would class as a trauma. Um, a trauma can be anything that causes you traumatic pain. Um, yeah um so say you're assaulted um the normal and healthy thing is to feel pain and to feel distress if you were to be assaulted and just be like i like this i mean some people do like that um that doesn't float my boat but you know that's not healthy um, so what I'm feeling now is, um, I'm trying to, it's healthy. That's kind of what I'm, I'm trying to make myself feel, self feel better about feeling incredibly depressed and incredibly shit. It's not worked. I don't feel any better, but I just want to share my views on this because, um, I think there is, not stigma, but there's an idea that if you're depressed, you shouldn't be depressed. It's bad to be depressed. And yes, it is bad to be depressed. And also, again, I'm pointing out that depression doesn't just, um, people aren't just depressed because something bad happens. Um, I have depression. Um, inside that depression, there can be things that make me feel worse and can trigger off it being worse, whether that be something happening in my day-to-day -day life and that could be something that justifies it or it could not justify, it could just be a small thing. 
Um, could mean memories. Anything really, anything. Um, but, you know, I'm not just depressed because of having traumatic experiences. I have depression, um, which is a chemical imbalance in my brain. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what I was saying. I just wanted to kind of come on and just talk about this. Talk to me. Um, talk to me in the comments. Like, is it... I'm not saying that I want to feel this pain. I don't want to feel this pain. I don't, like, it It causes me pain being in pain because I want to be happy and I want to just, you know, not be dealing with what I'm dealing with in my brain, but I'm dealing with, you know, a clusterfuck of, of different things. Um, you know... It's just hard, and it's hard as well because the only person that understands is my therapist. Um, not understands, but he, when I talk to him about, you know, about what's going on in my head, I think it was my last appointment or the one before, um, he was saying, you know, I said that I'd expressed feeling a certain way and... I'd had people kind of like not brush it off but like say oh well, of course you shouldn't feel that way because that's not true but it's like but I do feel this way it is true and yeah and I feel sad over or I feel you know pained over this x I don't want to go into it but yeah I feel this caused me pain um but then I had people saying well it shouldn't cause you pain so don't worry about it um and you know he said to me then like anyone would feel that pain of course it's a very painful thing that you went through it was traumatic and it's healthy um and yeah so i can talk to people i have people in my life that i can talk to but people's natural instinct is to try and make you feel better and i don't need to be made to feel better because there is nothing that anyone can say or do to make me feel better about this particular thing um nothing at all so you know my therapist he acknowledged the pain and that didn't make it feel better but it made me feel um not what's the word validated that's the word it made me feel valid like my pain felt validated um oh no anyway i'm gonna leave it here because i just wanted to come on and say something quickly um i don't know when i'll make a video again a couple of days um i don't know i just honestly my brain is just not in a great place so yeah um it's also physically not in a great place because the headaches are still going on i've got a telephone appointment with my neurologist on wednesday um they referred me as an emergency because of some of the symptoms that i've got so it's actually a coincidence it's, it's my neurologist he's the guy that runs the botox clinic that i have for my migraines so it's not um they just referred me to a neurologist and it just happens to be him so yeah anyway sorry this is a mess and it's going to have minimal editing so it's going to be a minimally edited mess i will see you soon bye